Hey, Zach, Tom Ward, Coin TV. Talk about the energy level that you felt out there. We all saw what you brought to the game when you were in there, the 14 points, the four rebounds, and the five blocks. Yeah, I mean, that's my job is to come in and bring energy off the bench. Uh, that's kind of been my job since I got here. Um, and it's, it's, it's a lot easier to play like that when, you know, you're at home and you got the, home, our, you know, the best fans in the NBA that are, you know, jumping up at every single play and making the gym extremely loud. So um, definitely try to feed off the crowd a little bit, and it helps when we're playing well. Um, but again, I just try to come in and do my job, bring energy. On the right. Zach, Joe Freeman at the Oregonian. How did you get the cut on your face? I wonder. And then also, how do you approach defending Jokic? Uh, I don't know how I got, got. I don't know how I got this. Um, I came back in a, in a timeout, and they were putting stuff on my head and wiping it off. So I didn't, I, I didn't even see it till after the game. So I don't really remember. Um, but defending Jokic is obviously it's tough. He's a great player. He's been playing well all year. He's been playing well this series. Um, you just got to make it tough on him. Uh, he's a guy who can, if you bring too much attention to him, he's going to pass to a shooter. And if you don't bring enough, he could score on you. So you just got to make it tough on him, make, push the catch out a little bit, um, make those catches tough, um, You know, try to force him into help so he's not just getting a free lane to the basket, just little things like that. And um, again, just, just making it tough on him. Second row center. Joe Fisher, 1080 The Fan. Uh, fans, a lot of people have said you have a don't back down attitude, willing to stand up to other players on other teams. Where does that come from? I, I mean, I would say just kind of how I was raised a little bit, um, how my parents kind of brought me up. Just always have a chip on your shoulder when you go out there and play. Um, that's basically it. I mean, I just, I've always kind of had that competitive edge, and um, I've had it at every single level I've played at, and it just it hasn't changed. On the right side against the wall. CaseyHoldAllTroublers.com. Uh, I know you guys were joking a bit of, about it in the locker room, but uh, can you talk about Mo challenging you a little bit uh, there and the rookies also kind of kind of going at you a little bit, talking about being in the paint uh, in tonight's game? Yeah. I, I asked them uh, how many times or how often I'm at the rim, and, and they kind of gave me like an eh, you know, like, like kind of I'm not there all the time. So I kind of took that a little, little personally. And, um, you know, Mo challenged me to get, you know, uh, a lot of blocks, and he would do something for me. And, um, and also, Gary Trent challenged me a little bit, and um, fortunately, he would have he would have gave me you know a, a big gift, but I didn't shake his hand, so I won't get that one. But uh, Mo Mo kept his word, so it was cool. Left side, please. Zach, over here again, Tom Ward. Um, can you talk about the game seven aspect here? And we heard Dame just a few minutes ago mention that you know the number one thing is keeping your mind right and not making this bigger than it is. Can you talk about that? Is this being your first game seven? I mean, you said it. It's my first game seven. It's a lot of our first game uh, game sevens. Um, I mean, we just got to go in it and, and keep playing our game. We got to come out. And I, I mean, I said it after the game. We, you know, they've been comfortable for a lot of games in this series. And tonight, we made them a little uncomfortable. And we, we just need to continue that, regardless of it's uh, a game seven or not. Obviously, it's win or go home for both teams. So it's going to be very difficult to go in, especially in their place, and get a win. But we can do it. Next question for Zach. Royce Young, ESPN. Zach, you were kind of in the middle of that, that scuffle there with Will Barton and Seth. What did you see from your perspective and, and, and what happened there? Uh, I was on the ground, um, and then I turned around, and I saw Seth and um, I think uh, Craig getting into it or, or somebody else. I don't know. Uh, I didn't really know, know what happened. I asked Seth after the game what happened, and then he told me, but I didn't know until then. And I just kind of got up and tried to get my guys out of there and, and you know push people off our team. And um, unfortunately, I got a technical. Uh, got to be smarter with that. But again, just try to get in and make sure our guys were okay. That's it.